Um, if you relocated? Yes. If I'm will, if I'm willing to we relocate. We don't offer anything for that, unfortunately. All you have to do is stay a minute. Just take your time. The clock is ticking, so stay. All you have to do is stay. Yes, sir. Welcome back. How y'all doing out there? Y'all doing all right out there? Y'all good? My name's Lockout Men, and welcome back to another episode of Lockout Men Podcast Show, the MTC edition. I told you guys I'm going to keep it going. You guys like it. You guys want it. You guys supporting it. So I'm going to keep it going. You know what I'm saying? Yo, last episode, last video, I mentioned that I was going to say, uh, I was going to tell you guys what's a good app to uh to you know help you in your job search well i got it right here it's called driver pulse i can't pull it up on my phone but it's called driver pulse if you guys you know have your uh you know you put your information in there and it brings up an abundance of of trucking jobs you know what i'm saying it brings up an abundance of trucking jobs so driver post never leave home without it man so definitely check it out well in today's episode man we're going to get into uh a painting company that has their own <laughs> and when i mean their own fleet it is crazy a painting company yes sir we're talking about sherwin williams uh they're located now as far as as far as the, uh, I don't have um I don't have uh their what's your name, right? I don't have uh let me see, hold on right quick. I don't I'm not sure where they located out. I mean they're located out of uh, they're located out of Cleveland, Ohio. Their world headquarters is like I think it's behind Terminal Tower downtown. If I'm not mistaken, it's that big building where the old LeBron James poster used to be. But I, I think it's that building right there. But as far as their their you know their trucking fleet goes, I'm not sure. Let's delve into uh into Sherwin Williams and why would Sherwin Williams will be a choice for you? Uh right here it says they go across country. Let's drop. Let's jump right here. Class A drivers drive for an award-winning private fleet that takes advantage of the following. They have 401k, will company match up to six percent? That's good. Company paid pension. Conference, uh, competitive starting way. I mean, starting salary. Regional drivers are home every week. Local drivers are home every day. They got medical, dental, vision insurance. Paid vacation days and paid holidays. Uh, they said requirements. They require you to be 25 years of age. Must must have the legal right to work in the country without needing sponsorship now or in the future. Must, of course, have a class A driver's license. Must have or be willing to obtain both hazardous material and tanker endorsements. So you got to have both both of them now i'm not sure if if they pull tankers i never seen a sherwin williams truck pull tankers though I'm not sure man that's, i think i should have asked her that but i didn't get a chance to uh must have at least two years of class a combinations tractor trailer driving experience within the last 10 years uh you can also if you don't want to drive a semi truck you can you can join their delivery truck, you know, like Amazon. They got that. Uh, flexible, steady hours with no nights and weekends and all that other good stuff. Also, if you're an owner-operator, you can come over to uh, Sherwin-Williams, yo, and, uh, and lease on to them. Uh, let's see. They say their national owner-operators deliver the best paint and coatings to 48 states. Uh, Year-round work, drive as little as 2,000 or 3,000 miles per week, 4% less empty miles, fuel surcharges, electronic dispatching, no forced dispatching. Now, that's for the owner-operators. I'm not sure 
if it is for the company drivers on that side. Home when you want, tire purchase discount, fuel discount, immediate cash advance, all the tolls and permits is paid, base plate program, weekly salary, sign on bonus, and Sherwin Williams trailers provided. Well, what do you guys think about that? Ah, man, what do you, what do you guys think about that? Sherwin Williams, man. Well, I, to give you forewarning, the call did not last long and the questions wasn't that deep. Um, unfortunately, she had a she had a one o'clock meeting to go to and I only asked maybe like a handful of questions. So let's find out what I asked in this call. Oh, I remember you calling me after. Okay, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. I tried to uh <laughs> tried to uh call you and I, 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 I couldn't get a hold of you. But I, I appreciate you calling me back though. Thank you. Thank you, thank you very, yeah, no very problem. much. Um now I already know prior to our conversation, you you said that uh not not nothing out of Ohio, huh? Uh, or not Ohio, but nothing out of out of Cleveland. So my question to you is this. Yeah, nothing out of Cleveland. So my question to yeah. you, my question to you is this. Uh Columbus uh, -huh. uh Columbus is what 3 hours away from me. Um um yeah. and what was the, what was the other one you said Cincinnati? Columbus or Dayton? Oh, Dayton. Now, Dayton is about maybe about a good hour, hour and a half away from me. Would I be able to? Where are you based out of? I'm, I'm out of Cleveland, Ohio. So, Dayton is like three hours from Cleveland. Okay. What? Wait. Day, wait. Dayton or Columbus? Columbus is two hours, and then Dayton is. Let me pull it up. I think it's around two and a half to three hours. Oh, sorry, I lost you. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you. I got you. Yeah, so Dayton is pretty far. They're both pretty far. Okay. Because I'm out of Cleveland. Okay. So, so quick question, though. I mean... Why? Uh, why isn't there any? Well, I, I would assume coming out of, out of, out of Dayton and or Columbus is over the road is over the road driving, right? Or is that just for yeah. like regional? No, it's it's regional. Oh, uh, it's it's regional. Yeah, regional. Okay. Obviously. Okay. So, if if. You know Columbus, you know which is not that far. Why, why not Cleveland? Why, why not hire? Why, why, why not hire out of Cleveland? So we do. Um, just all the Cleveland spots are full right now. Oh, oh, okay, 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 mm -hmm. okay. All right. I, we have less spots based out of Cleveland just because um, the farthest east this region goes is the Ohio Pennsylvania border. Mm -hmm. Um, so we have the least amount of spots based out of Cleveland. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Now since mm -hmm. Sher now since Sherwin Sherwin Williams is like it's like huge. Mm -hmm. I mean, I could, a painting company with their own trucking. <laughs> it's yeah. it's flabbergasted yeah, to I'll me. I'll drive a fleet. I, you you uh -huh. guys do do, do, you, do you guys do you guys do uh do you guys pull other freight other than your own? Um, no. I oh. mean, well, yes, technically we do backhauls if we need to, but it's mostly been our freight, especially in the busy season. Okay, okay. Um, so, so let's say I did live in Columbus and let's, or let's say I would want, you know, want, you know, that's why I'm doing my homework to see if this will be a company for me to just, you know, make the jump from Cleveland to Columbus uh -huh. to come on and drive for you guys. What, uh, uh -huh. what, uh, what do the company has to offer for me to do that? Um, if you relocated? Yes. If I'm, if I'm willing to relocate. 
we don't offer anything for that, unfortunately. Well, no, 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 no. Not I, I will re- relocate myself. You know, I, I, I will relocate myself. Oh. I'm just saying what will be the, well, you know, what you guys got to offer drivers, you know. Yeah. Yeah, so the regional position, let's say you lived in Columbus, um, the regional position is home weekly. Um, Monday through Friday is the typical schedule, but I can't promise you that you wouldn't get out Sunday night, and I can't promise you you wouldn't come home Saturday morning. Um, we only guarantee a 34-hour reset. So okay. it's a full 70 run with that 34-hour reset. Um, in terms of pay, it's 48 cents per mile with a 7 cent per diem, so 55 cents per total mile. Um, our drivers do touch freight, so they move it from one end of the trailer to the rear end, and we're going to pay that person 22 cents per 100 pounds. If you're at a store and the store employee is talking to customers, we would give you that option to move the freight again from the end of the trailer to the store with an electric forklift. And when you move that, we would double the pay of 22 cents per 100 pounds again. Oh, okay, okay. Um, and this is... We have safety bonuses now quarterly. Mm-hmm. Sorry, what? No, I was about to say... And, um, this is, and then it, we have a benefit. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. My, my fault. I didn't mean to cut you off. Go ahead. No, no. Oh, okay. So th- this is this is all touch. Free benefits we offer our drivers. So this is all touch freight. Uh-huh. No, no, all no matter free. what. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. And, and the we... only position that wouldn't be. Uh... Go ahead. Oh, okay. Um. All right. So, how would how will orientation be? Do you? Uh, how will orientation be? Would I be able to come? Uh, you know, I, I would I would drive to the terminal, I guess. So how long will orientation be before I get into a truck? Yes, well orientation two to three weeks depending on um like your training. So the first week is in class training and it would be at the Eppingham, Illinois distribution center, which I'm from Cleveland, so I do know that that's about a seven hour drive mm-hmm. um from Cleveland. But that's where the training would be for the in class. You'd be there for about a week. You'd probably go home Thursday or Friday. Okay. And then the next two, one or two weeks is you driving in our truck um, with our lead trainer. And he would be following you, making sure that um, you know how to do the deliveries the show one way, all that kind of stuff. Okay. Okay. Uh, d- during these, during this three weeks orientation, do we get paid for that? Yeah, um, it's 150 a day. Oh, okay. And okay. we would um, compensate, we would uh, pay the national rate for mileage to pay for you to come down, drive down. Okay, okay, okay. So what? What's the? Uh, what's mm-hmm. the? What's so the rate is 48 cent with an additional uh, bump up to 55. Uh, Seven cents a day. Okay. Okay. Uh-huh. Uh, what about what about pre uh, pre employment? What what do you guys do for uh, you know for the drug test? Do you guys test for urine, uh, hair follicles, or both? Um, I don't know. I actually don't know that. I think it's urine. Oh, okay. But I don't know. I've never been asked that. I. I don't administer it. It's the site who does, mm-hmm. um, but I think it's urine. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, what about um? Now, what what about uh? What are we able? Let's talk about the trust. Are we able? Are we able to take the trust home on our on our thirty four hour reset? So how it works is since Cleveland or Columbus or. Wherever you would live is a downtown location to our distribution center. Mm-hmm. Um, we would find you a Penske parking lot within 30 minutes from your house. So you would take the truck to that Penske parking lot and leave it there for the weekend. Um, and when you're on the road, you leave your car there for the week. Oh, okay, okay. So we, we're not able to uh, we're mm-hmm. not able to take the trucks uh, directly home. No. That wouldn't follow under compliance laws and whatnot. 
Oh, okay, okay. What's what will be my average now? Being that this is regional, what will be my average miles a week? Twenty two hundred to twenty five hundred miles a week. Oh, okay. Average. Okay, and that's uh, okay. What about uh now? What about the trucks themselves? Manuals, automatics. So the first twelve months is a Penske rental truck, and that could be either manual or automatic. After those twelve months, you get put into our trucks that I'm sure you've seen on the road, the blue truck. Mm-hmm. Um, and those are automatic. Now question so you would be doing both okay so question why why mm-hmm. why do you guys do it that way just the the test to see if i'm going to stay with the company or something like that uh no it's based off the amount of trucks we have um we have around i think 800 drivers in our entire fleet mm-hmm. so it's been exponentially growing within the last few years so we don't have enough trucks yet for how many drivers we have Okay, 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 okay. So let me ask you this: What's what's your what's so I now let me make this clear. I'm not a felon. <laughs> I don't have a DUI, <laughs> and I don't have okay. a criminal background. But okay. what do you what what, what do you do, uh, what's your policy for people that has misdemeanors, felonies, and or DUIs? Um. It depends how recent. So, and it also depends on what it is. Okay, okay, okay. Um, so once I get into one of them big, beautiful, automatic trucks, uh, <laughs> uh-huh. do do we do we have a driver camera, uh, what, uh refrigerator? What what do we have mm-hmm. in there? Yeah, it has kind of the whole nine yards. Biggest cab you can get. Um, sleeper, you can do a bunk or a single. You can have a refrigerator, um, inverter, a microwave, a TV. You, well, you bring your own TV, but you can. There's enough room for anything you can probably think of. Do um, it in our cab. Do it come? Do it come with a refrigerator, microwave? It comes with a refrigerator. It doesn't come with a microwave, but uh, you can bring a microwave if you'd like. Okay. Okay. Cool. Awesome. Uh, just, just a few more mm-hmm. questions. That's all. Uh, what about the computer? What about okay. the computer? I just have to say, I do have a meeting at one. Oh. Okay. Okay. So okay. Then, I, yeah. I'll, I'll, yeah. I'll, 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 I'll spe- call you back after. That. Yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll speed it up. What about the computer tracking? Uh, what, what computer okay. do you guys have in the, uh, have in the truck? Like Crawlcom. People net. We use people net. People net. <laughs> oh, okay, 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 okay. People net. Have you used that before? Yeah, I, I used all okay. of them. Pe- people net, Crawlcom. I, I'm familiar with with all of them. All right. Well, of of course, I'm not going to try and uh, I'm not going to try and hit or uh, hold you up. But I do appreciate the little bit of information that oh, I fine. that I could take away. Uh, take away from you. Uh, take away from you with uh, about the company. Unfortunately, being that I'm from Cleveland, I won't be able to come That's in. But uh, but I um, I know I wish because I'm from Cleveland. So I got Cleveland pride. <laughs> That's what's up. That's what's up. Our our brown sucks, but <laughs> but overall the city the city is <laughs> doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. All righty then. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate the time. You know, right? No problem. <laughs> Call me if you ever need anything. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. <laughs> All right. No problem. Bye. Sherwin Williams, everybody. <laughs> what do you guys think of that call? Not, not much. Uh, not, not too much. I, I, I could say, uh, about that particular call. Um, the little bit of information that I did gather, uh, 40, uh, I believe 48 cent per mile, uh, you get a, a per diem, which probably bumps it up to like uh, 50 cent a mile. Uh, I meant to ask her, do you require hazmat? But I'm, I'm going to assume that you do require hazmat being that this is paint. See what I'm saying? I, I knew, I knew that I had a couple of loads 
when I when um my fleet manager asked me, he says, uh, lockout, he says, uh, I got some paint loads. Do you have your hazmat? And I was like, no. Nah. He was like, yeah, you're going to need your hazmat in order to move the paint loads. So I'm going to assume that you do need your hazmat for this uh, particular company. Now, if you're out of Cleveland, there's no, uh, there's no, you know, there's no place, uh, there's no place out of Cleveland uh, for us because it's already tightened. But if you're from Dayton or Columbus, yeah, definitely give them a call. I think, in my humble opinion, I, I think Sherwin, Sherwin Williams is one of these uh, top echelon companies to get with. You know, they're they're on the same lines of UPS, FedEx, Walmart. You know what I'm saying? I, a, a painting company with their own trucking fleet is ridiculous. I never, I never thought it. I, I never thought of that. But um, but what do you guys think of this? Uh, what do you guys think of this call? Um, uh, she called me back. Thank you very much for that. I tried. You know, I called her yesterday to you know just to talk to her because I drove past uh, this big billboard says you know come drive for us and. It's like, hey, maybe uh, I could give them a call and, and see what they was about. So if you guys uh, like the call, you know, leave it in the comments below. Let me know what you think of the call. And um, and yeah, like I said, you know, she had to she had to go. So, of course, we couldn't uh, we couldn't do much. So with that said, Sherwin Williams, y'all, they are located. Uh, let's see. Um Sherwin Williams. It's not, you know, on their website, it is not much I can find as far as, uh, you know, as far as where they located. But I could tell you their headquarters is located out of Cleveland, Ohio, right behind, uh, right behind Terminal Tower. So if you guys are interested, they're, you know, they're right there. Sherwin Williams. Well, that's it for this episode of Lockout Men Makes the Call, Lockout Men Podcast, the MTC edition. Yo, if you guys are interested in Sherwin Williams, make sure you give them a call at uh, 800. Uh, 800-855-797. 6231. So give them a call. Now, as far as their website goes, I, I, I can't find too much on their on their website. But if that's it, you know what I'm saying? Well, if you like content like this and more, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, and hit that bell and that all button for more when I come up with the MTC edition. If you guys want to support your boy because doing the research. YouTube do not pay me for doing this for you guys. So support me by way of Cash App, which is dollar sign Lockout Men, or the coffee app. Get me some coffee. Look a brother up. Let me know who you want me to call next. You know what I'm saying? And on that note, I want to thank you for listening. I want to thank you for watching. I appreciate it. You guys have a beautiful, beautiful, blessed day. And I will come back with you guys with another MTC video. You guys take it easy and I'll talk to you later. Peace.